Hey guys, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on PSDVault.com YouTube channel. This is a, a quick tutorial to show you a effective method to create this type of flying debris and particle effect in Photoshop. All right, let's get started. Firstly, we have a, a rock stock image here, and uh, we will be also using a set of debris brush. So I have included the download link in the uh, descriptions below. So yeah, just click on that link and uh, download that brush and uh, add it to your Photoshop. All right, so we'll go back to this uh, rock stock image. We will create a new layer. And uh, we'll use the debris brush, uh, just any one of them. Uh, just do a single click on that new layer and we'll load the selection of this new layer by just holding down your control key and left click on that thumbnail so as you can see you can see those uh, marching ants appearing on this debris layer we wanted to go back to the background layer and then press ctrl plus c to make a copy of the selection and uh, just to demonstrate this uh, effect, I uh, created a blank document with black background. So we'll, we'll paste that selection onto our um, newly created uh, document. And as you can see, we have some, some uh, debris appearing. We just wanted to maybe resize them, resize them a little bit. So just press Ctrl plus T to bring up the free transform tool. I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit. Uh, we also wanted to rotate them just to make them look like they are sort of um, flying from one end to the other. Uh, we can also use the warp tool just to warp the uh, the edge slightly. Just make them look like they are uh, uh, sort of some can have some sort of motion attached. All right, so we can apply some blur effect on the edge so we I just use the blur tool set the strength to around about 20% uh, we're just gonna blur the edge slightly very important uh, we we can use the eraser tool just I set the opacity to around about 70% and maybe 60% uh, flow. Uh, it's going to erase the edge so they um, sort of fade in. Alright, so we can then sh just sharpen the particle slightly. We use the unsharp mask filter. Uh, just leave the um, amount to 50, maybe 60% radius. 0.4 pixels, zero threshold, and press OK. And uh, yeah, so we can duplicate this layer a little bit more and just resize the duplicated layer uh, just to add some variety into it and different angles. them as well this is basically how I created this um, flying debris and particles effect in Photoshop I found this method quite useful when it comes to uh, generating break apart effect um, especially for this um, planet explosion manipulation work I did um, previously I sort of attached those particles around the uh, explosion uh, just to make the effect looks more realistic that's it for this tutorial 
and uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, technique. Have a great day.